Forsaken Forest is a social deduction game for 4 to 12 players. Players take on the role of villagers trying to make their way back to the village through the forest, but unbeknownst to them, some of their own are forsaken and attempting to lead them to the void. Players will need to determine which of their own they can trust while navigating the woods, but they must do so quickly. Night falls soon, and with night, the horrors of the forest become real. At the start of the game, players are randomly given a role of either villager team or forsaken team. Then, all players close their eyes and all forsaken players place the void, the village, and six dead end cards around the board. When finished, all players open their eyes and the game begins. On a player's turn, they draw a card from the Traveler deck, play an action card from their hand, then, after all other players pass on playing fast actions, the game continues to the next player. After six player turns, the forest gets a turn which involves turning the top card of the forest deck over and immediately resolving its effects. If a night card is not drawn, it begins the player turn again. Actions are either fast or slow. Slow actions can only be taken during a player's turn. Actions have a variety of effects. A notable action involves forging a path. Forging a path involves placing a path token adjacent to a path token already in play. This represents the journey home, and when a destination or excavation is reached, it is immediately resolved. Excavations grant artifacts, which are powerful cards given to the player who found them. Destinations, when revealed, potentially end the game. Other notable action card effects include silencing players, peeking at cards, and attempting to eliminate other players. The forest deck has a variety of negative effects, but most important is encroaching darkness, which begins the night phase. During the night phase, all players close their eyes and the Forsaken choose to eliminate one player. This puts a player on death's doorstep, and unless they can be saved by a revival card, they are killed and become a vengeful spirit. Vengeful spirits continue to take part in the dialogue of the game, but they are not allowed to take actions. Villagers can attempt to kill people they are suspicious of by sending players to the gallows, but doing so requires a majority vote. After the night phase ends, it begins the next day phase and player actions resume. The game ends when either team finds victory. The villagers win by eliminating all Forsaken or reaching the village. The Forsaken win by eliminating enough villagers or reaching the void. Forsaken Forest provides a lot of opportunity for players to sow distrust in one another, and there are also a lot of ways to strengthen alliances through action cards. The forest board gives the feeling of wandering an endless expanse and adds even further distrust when you don't have confidence in anybody but yourself to guide towards a destination. In addition to the basic roles of the game, there are also powerful roles for both factions. The Navigator gets to peek at a Destination card each night phase. The Priest can protect villagers from the murders of the Forsaken. The Forsaken have powers of their own, including the Silencer, who can mute a player and forbid them from taking any actions during the next day cycle, and the Shrouded, who has the appearance of a villager to any player who peeks at them. Finally, the art in the game is fantastic, giving vibes of gothic horror while oozing feelings of suspicion and fear of the unknown. The Forsaken themselves are horrifying abominations of human-turned-nature and are an absolute treat to look at. If you are looking for a social deduction game with a horror theme, Forsaken Forest is for you. With its fantastic art and the idea of potentially leading to your own demise, Forsaken Forest nails the concept of horror social deduction. If you are looking for social deduction that has more to its bones, Forsaken Forest is for you. With the forest board and the traveler cards, there is a large variety of strategy options that player can take advantage of, giving Forsaken Forest a bit more game than others in its genre. If you are looking for a game that can scale its balance depending on the player count, Forsaken Forest is for you. Forsaken Forest has options to scale which team is favored for odd player counts, allowing playgroups to find the best balance for the game. If you are looking for a game that keeps players engaged, even while eliminated, Forsaken Forest is for you. 
Players who were unfortunate enough to be killed can still play, engaging in all conversation and keeping their role hidden. This allows them to continue to strive for victory in the social side of the game while foregoing game actions. Forsaken Forest is a social deduction game that provides plenty of variety. With 150 traveler cards and destinations being placed differently each game, sessions will feel different from one another. Forsaken Forest also does a fantastic job of pushing suspicion on its players. The first few turns each game will always have players feeling lost in the woods, unsure of who to trust and where to go. This feeling of hesitance proves very successful to the genre of the game, allowing the feeling of horror to creep up its players' spines. You aren't alone in the forest, there's something else out here, and you can't tell friend from foe. Hopefully, this has given you a better idea of what Forsaken Forest is and if the game is for you. I'm Justin from Playing Board Games. Please consider liking and subscribing, and why don't you hit that little bell? Have a good one, and as always, GG's. Thank you.